how to edit these shapes in the last tutorial video we put together to show to you how to have all of these shapes all of these shapes so if you check here we have on this move tool just click on it you have this drop down we have the move tool and that of scale so what's the difference between these two if you have move you could actually move it and you can adjust this you can adjust like this you can adjust like this but then if you notice wherever you are adjusting that is the only part that is actually um there's actually a change that is appearing on it all right so but then what if i don't just want to edit just the side alone what if it's just the whole shape itself so all you just simply need to do is to come here back and click on scale scale retains the proportion of your shape you see you could see the difference now you could see the difference so that is so many other times so there are when you need to use your move tool and there are also times whereby you need the scale also so it depends on whatever you want to do so if you needed to adjust the whole shape you use what scale but if it's you just needed to because you could say that if you increase it by the side there it's all of the what shape that is increasing but whereby if it is the move tool you could what it's just what the side whereby you are applying your change and you can also come here you see this w means width and the h means height so you can increase the width here but many at times is is best for beginners it's best for you to stick with just only this figma helps you to increase you can see that as well increasing it it's also adjusting the only the width that there's a change that's been done on. so yes also you could actually still have some edit whereby when you double click on this shape you see this all right so this gives us another tools this is the drag and um, the drawing tools we have the pen and we have the pencil there and this is bent too whereby you could bend whatever you need and this is paint bucket all of these are going to be showing you how to use them and when to use them so let's say we so when you double click on it or the the shortcut to go about that is just clicking on the enter button on your keyboard and you have this so all you, this gives us another thing to do let's say you just want to adjust it you could see we're having something different from another where, and we picked it from where from our rectangle so it's as simple as that so it depends on whatever you want to do and when you need them that's the most important thing not just about just doing any of it alone 